seek the kingdom of God, but then it didn't just say his kingdom, but it says, and his righteousness. Yeah. Hallelujah. The kingdom of God, this is the kingdom of righteousness. Mm -hmm. Glory be to God. So that means everything that we're doing is going to be in right standing with God. Amen. Hallelujah. God ain't going to tell you, uh, give you no faith to go get the house, and then when you get to the house, you got to lie on the application. Come on now. That ain't God. Amen. He's seeking you first the kingdom of God. So that means everything that we're doing is going to be lining up with this word. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Seek ye first the kingdom. Hey, mother. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. Amen. Amen. There's another scripture I want to show. Go to Matt, uh, Luke 17 and 20. And we're not going to rush. Some people know where Luke is. Some people need to look in the index, and that's okay. You know, you know I come to find out that when, when, when people... People are faithful to what they know work. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, when you run out of deodorant, you, you go get some deodorant because you know it work. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of people, the church has failed a lot of people. Hallelujah. And so people have been going to church, they've been faithful to church, but they ain't seeing no manifestation of the word in their life. So that's the purpose of, the, of us teaching. We're going to teach. We, we kind of shaving the fat on a lot of these other things that's been taught. And we want to go right directly to principles that's going to change your life. Right. Hallelujah. You understand what I'm saying? So, so as we teach these certain principles, we're going to help. We gonna help you get transformed. Your money gonna be transformed. Amen. Your mind gonna be transformed. Mm -hmm. Your heart gonna be transformed. We wanna deal with every area of your walk with God that's gonna be a major blessing to you that every time you get a situation, you'll know how to just lean on God. Amen. You understand what I'm saying? Right. You, you, won't, you won't look out to the world for a solution. You'll know how to go in and get a solution. That's it. Glory be to God. Seek ye first the kingdom of God mm -hmm. and his righteousness and all these things will be added. Now Luke 17 says, read Luke 17 and 20 and 21. Luke 17, 20, and 21. Luke 17, and that's verse 20. And when he was demanded of the Pharisees, mm -hmm. when the kingdom of God should come, uh -huh. he answered them and said, the kingdom of God cometh not with observation. It come not in observation. Come on now. Keep going. 21. Neither shall they say, lo here uh -huh. or lo there. For behold, the kingdom of God is within you. Amen. Where is the kingdom of God? Within you. Right. Where is the kingdom of God? Within you. So the kingdom of God is within you. When you show up, the kingdom show up. All right. You understand what I'm saying? See, see, a lot of people, we chasing money, but it's some stuff money can't get you out of. See, and the world don't understand it. See, I was in the world, and all I, 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 that's all I was trying to do was get money, get money, get money. But then one day I found myself in a situation that my money didn't matter. And so what people need to understand is that, look, money can pay your bills, but money can't stop, can't get cancer out of your body. See, this is some stuff money can't do. And so the kingdom of God is within you, and this is the manual for the manual for the kingdom of God. So you the product, and these are the instructions. Mm -hmm. And when you read the instructions, the product usually work. Yeah. Come on, somebody. All right. Yeah, it's all right, God. Don't mind you having millions of dollars and mm -hmm. ten thousand purses and shoes. All that's cool, mm -hmm. long as you seek ye first the kingdom to get. Mm -hmm. See, right. you can get all that because it's in the kingdom. When you say kingdom, you automatically think of royalty. So we're a royalty. Right, but the problem is there's an identity crisis. Mm -hmm. Don't nobody know who they are. Right. See, but through these classes, we want to develop your kingdom destiny. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We're going to really be working the Bible in these classes. So the Bible will become, if it's not already, your best friend. Mm -hmm. This is our book. This is the book we live by. This is the book we go to concerning any situation that we're facing in our life. You need a bill paid, mm. you can find it in the Bible. Come on, man. You need an increase, you need a career change, you can find it in the Bible. You need your, your ministry to go to the next level from where it is, you can find it in the Bible. So you got to get to a point where if you know the value of the Bible, you will learn to trust what's in it. But we have to learn the value of the Bible to learn the principles that's in the Bible to 
apply it to our life. Amen. 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 And there, you know, I, there are a few season saints in here on tonight, but you know, the bottom line is this: we got to live by faith. See, if you're not living by faith, then you're not pleasing God. See, get working an extra 70 hours on the job, that's not walking by faith. That's going to work and get a job. To go and go, you going to work to get a paycheck. Right. All right. So what we want to do is we really want to teach stuff like over in Mark 9 where he said when it was dealing with the, uh, uh, the, the young, the, the man brought his son to Jesus and they couldn't cast the demon out of him. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, Jesus cast the demon out of him. Then the disciples said, well, God, Jesus, why we couldn't do it? And then he said, well, this kind come out by prayer and fasting. Mm -hmm. All right. So if this kind come out by prayer and fasting, if you praise it and worship, this kind ain't going to come out. You understand what I'm saying? So it's certain weapons that you can use at a certain time to get a breakthrough. And you, you understand what I'm saying? So, so, so what we're doing is God is changing. God is ready to set people in high places, but He ready to set His people in high places. That's right. You understand what I'm saying? He really, he, he really want a Holy Ghost field president. You feel what I'm saying? He want to set all His people in place so we can subdue kings, so we can take the world that way. See, it's so much, it, the, the, the church is teaching so much, but we stay in this side of the church with all the teaching. Come on now. See, light don't shine, and light, light shines in darkness. That's right. See, and if we sit here just teaching to each other, you feel what I'm saying? Then people walking past us and finna bust hell wide open. Mm -hmm. See, and guess what? They blood on our hands. Mm -hmm. See, so we got to change our mindsets. Tonight I'm going to show you in the Word where tonight starts a brand new season for you. Mm -hmm. Not, not, not I'm just telling you that tonight it's a, it's a brand new seat. Right. I'm going to show it to you in the Word. Right. And if you believe the Word, then you're going to know that when you leave out here, look, my season has changed. Right. See? Oh it's, a, it's a new day. It's a new day. A lot, of, a lot of people are out of place. A lot of people are not, not even working on the jobs they're supposed to be working on. Right. You feel me? You tell me, well, that job paid me $17. Yeah, but, but he didn't tell you what was going to happen down the line. Right. You understand what I'm saying? We got to ask God. We got to seek God for everything. There's a scripture that says, seek the Lord while he may be found. Wow. That's it. Can, you, what, what, can you imagine that day that you're going to be seeking the Lord and he's not going to answer? My God. See, so we got to take advantage of what's going on. Amen. Mm -hmm. One thing that I've learned is that anger births purpose. And so we done had, I'm telling you, this whole church thing, we done did this church thing. We done had about five pastors. You understand what I'm saying? We done did this church thing. We already we, we done already analyzed it, but anger births purpose. Amen. Yes. So you'll go through some situations and wonder why people be treating you wrong. God allows that type, those type of things to go on to push you into purpose. Mm -hmm. See, everything you believe in God for is connected to purpose. Amen. But if you're out of purpose, yes. you feel what I'm saying? It's certain stuff that He's not gonna release to you. That's good. That's right. You believe in God for millions of dollars. Okay, I'm not just giving you no millions of dollars just so you be riding around shining. It. It's a purpose that's connected. When you get in purpose, then I release the millions. Then guess what? You don't know what the millions was for. That's right. But without purpose, you don't even know. That's right. And like I said, it's, it's, it's a strong identity crisis. And the enemy has used the element of hurt. There are so many people that has been hurt in the church by men and women of God. That's right. Hallelujah. And as a man of God, I just want to apologize and repent to you. If you've ever been hurt by another man or woman of God, I repent on behalf of them. Release it and let it go. It's a new season. It's a new day. God trying to do something. He want to use you. He want to use your gifts and talents. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Yeah. Our goal for this class is to transform people through kingdom principles and to put them on the path of their kingdom destiny. To transform, you can write it down if you would like, to transform people through kingdom principles and to put them on the path of their kingdom destiny. Amen. Amen. Your kingdom destiny. Right. Kingdom destiny is the key. You may desire to go and do something else. Right. But God may be saying, I want you to be doing this in this season. 
And so sometimes you'll find yourself struggling. Why, why won't this door just go ahead and open on up? I'm ready. I, I want to go this route. I want to go this route. And he's saying, that's not the route I want you to go right now. And so you have to keep coming back to him to seek him out on what am I supposed to be doing? It's a destiny to, that's connected to his kingdom that we are purpose what he wants to get done in the earth. My God. Amen. Amen. Your destiny is not just for you. Your destiny has a whole group of people connected to it. A whole group of people are waiting on you to get in your rightful place. They're waiting. They're waiting. They out doing whatever they're doing. Some in the church, some in the club, some everywhere. But they're waiting on you to tap into what you're supposed to be doing before. Because they'll listen to you and they might not listen to me. It's some people that are listening to me that won't listen to you. Amen. Amen. And then just to show you how, how people are out of position, my testimony, I sold drugs for 22 years. Mm -hmm. A good drug dealer. Successful. <laughs> you know, in my sight. You know what I'm saying? In the eyes of the world. Mm -hmm. but, now, now, but now, my kingdom destiny was a prophet of God. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that at that time. Yeah. You think if you'd have asked me seven, eight, ten years ago, would, would I be preaching the gospel? Mm -hmm. Come on now. I would probably cuss you out. You understand what I'm saying? So what I'm saying is there are some, some jobs that people are on. There are some places. There are some occupations that, that you're involved in. You may be good in it. You might be good, but that does not mean that that's your kingdom destiny. That's right. You understand what I'm saying? That don't mean that that's what God called you to do. Now to show you the flip side of it, uh, the drug dealer is really a businessman. Yeah. See? The, the, the gang member, the gang leader is really a preacher. He leads the gang bangers, but he really a pastor. Come on. Oh, yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Amen. So the enemy will use, he go, the, now the enemy already know who you are now. Let me tell you that too now. He already know who you are. And he got some stuff, let me tell you, he got a budget. He'll put everything you believe for right in front of you. I'm talking about, I'm talking about he, he trying to get you so engulfed with what you got on that you won't even think about getting saved. You're, the T.D. Jakes can see you and be ministering to you like you, you, you're not going to even receive it because of the stuff. Yeah. See? So in the world, people chasing out the stuff. Yeah. Yeah. See? That's why God said, if you seek ye first me, yeah. then I add the stuff to you. Mm -hmm. But if you're seeking stuff, you feel what I'm saying? Stuff, a Mercedes Benz ain't going to wake me up anymore. I'm out here. You understand what I'm saying? This is a spiritual, these, the, the purpose of this class is so you can tap into your spiritual side. You understand what I'm saying? I ain't trying to make you to no preacher. We can, you just need to understand that you got a spiritual side, and when you show up, man, you got all type of weapons. You feel me? When you come in the room, the atmosphere got to shift. Yeah, that's right. Amen. The kingdom just entered the room. Come on. I don't care what y'all got going on. I can, I'm going to speak this word, and the word going to change the atmosphere. Yes, amen. See, every time you release your faith, see, when you release your faith, what you do is activate the supernatural. So you might have a situation. That's why, that why the Bible said that Jesus is a lawyer in the courtroom. He's a judge. He's a provider. Jesus can be anything you need him to do if you believe that. See, you can go right and say, man, so I can't wait till we just really get, God has already given us the different titles of things that we're going to be teaching, but we're really, we fasting and praying to see which order he wants us to teach these certain subjects in. But there's one subject called if it's going to happen, it needs to be spoken. Right. I can't wait till we, I can't wait till we get into this. Because mm -hmm. you, when you understand it, all you got to do is speak the word. Speak the word. I'm talking just speak the word. Right. Just speak the word. Let me tell you something. Y'all sitting in something that wasn't, it wasn't even out, but we spoke the word. Spoke the word. <laughs> Is you hearing what I'm saying? We spoke the word. Mm -hmm. And you got to understand. Let me tell you something. The Bible said the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty for the pulling down the strongholds. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something. You ain't got to go down to child support put that joke on child support. Go in the spirit realm and watch how you take care of the baby. See? Come on. You got to understand that I'm telling you, you go in the spirit realm for anything. anything. It's, it's not a damn desire that you got that you can't find a word for it in here and then go in the spirit realm and God won't, put, won't, won't manifest it for you. And see, you look at us, that's how we've been living. We've been saved, we've been saved for uh, eight years. Now, she was saying longer than I would. But since we done hooked up, we have been saying eight years. You understand what I'm saying? Say for real. But, but, <laughs> right, say for real. See, the church has got so contaminated. 
Every church that you, and I'm not bashing the church, but every church you go in is in a different time frame. You understand what I'm saying? It's in a different zone. So the, the Holy Ghost was jumping out back in the church back in 1980. When you go in that church, they still in 1980. You understand what I'm saying? If the Spirit was moving in the 90s, you know what I'm saying? They still going to be talking like it's the 90s. But God is fresh every day. Oh my God, he's fresh every day. He ain't got to use nothing twice. Because he's God. He's all-knowing. He's all-powerful. He's omnipresent. He's everywhere at the same time. And guess what all that said? That's inside of you. It's inside of you. Guess what? I'm not limited to what the pastor preaching. You understand what I'm saying? But see, so many you can't be lazy with this thing. See, it's funny. This is what I learned about people. See, I know that y'all are here because y'all want to be here. I found out that people do what they want to do. That's right. they, they got all type of excuses for something they want to do. I don't care what's going on. They're going to do it. they going to do it. So God said, look, without faith it is impossible to please me. So guess what? Tonight, y'all here by faith and y'all pleasing God. Amen. Why? Because y'all could have been plenty of other things y'all could have been doing. You feel it? But the Bible said he did thirst and hunger after righteousness. He shall be filled. Yes. See? You can't get filled if you ain't thirsty. And can't nobody else get filled for you. That's right. See, the Bible says you got to work out your own soul salvation. Mm -hmm. So this thing just like a casket. It don't hold one person at a time. Mm -hmm. My wife can't get it for me. My mama can't get it for me. Why? Because I got to stand before the judge. I got to stand before God on judgment day. Amen. Just like you do. Everybody in here. She loved that beautiful little girl. Guess what? That little girl got to stand before God. So we want to help you tap into your spiritual side so that in every situation you'll have a victory. Mm -hmm. Every situation. Man. I don't care what happened to you, you can get the victory. Why? Because the word don't return void. Right. But you got to release it back to him so it won't return void. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Our inspiration of scripture is 1 Thessalonians. Once again, we uh, ask that everybody bring a notepad, a fresh notepad, because we're believing God that after so many weeks and months of this class, um, that you will be able to go back through your notepad and get a word. You will be able to go back and read those same scriptures and apply it to a situation that you're facing at that time. So our inspiration of scripture is 1 Thessalonians 5, verse, uh, chapter 1, verse 5 and 6. It says, 1 Thessalonians first. 1, 5, and 6. And we're going to take our time. Like we said, we're not rushing anything about the class because um, I understand there's a lot of people that's here and there's a lot of people that's coming. They are not churched. At the end of the day, we have to be open for what God wants to do in such a time as now. Half of the people that's out here, they're not churched. They don't have church ethics. They don't know where Genesis is. And we have to be patient enough for them to feel like they're worthy of the word. Amen. 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 And so we're not going to rush anything about this class. Nothing about it. And so we're going to take our time to everyone get it. First Thessalonians towards the back ways of the Bible. You know, 1, 5, and 6. Uh, John 3, 16 says, God so loved the word. God got a love for the word. Yeah. He do. See, and so uh, Jesus is married to the backslide. That's what the Bible say. Mm -hmm. See, but if we sit up and we uh, don't not operate out of love, mm -hmm. you feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know, if we judging people, how they gonna hear the gospel? How? The Bible says Jesus said he'll need a ninety nine to go get the one. Come on now. So that means if number one person show up tonight, guess what? The gospel gotta go forth. Man. God is concerned about that one son. Right. See, yes, we can't be caught up on crowds. We got to follow the cloud. That's right. See, crowds will get you in trouble. Mm -hmm. right. Crowds jumping off at the end of the cliff in droves. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? But see, this, see, okay, y'all, do y'all remember the guy that just died? Uh, okay. No, the, uh, uh, the, 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 the computer, uh, Apple, Apple. Yeah. Steve Jobs, yeah. prime example. Prime example. Mm -hmm. Now Steve Jobs had all them billions of dollars. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about. I, I, I saw the story where he where he lost billions and then got them right back. Right? 
Okay, so he got all them billions of dollars, but what good is it to be the richest man in the cemetery? Come on now. Hmm? Think about it. You, you was intelligent enough to get all that money, but you wasn't intelligent enough to tap into the kingdom principle. Mm -hmm. Jesus. You died at 56. What? You're a billionaire? You died at 56? Mm -hmm. See, you get what you say. Mm. And while he was calling around that bending computer, if he had been saying, I should live and not die, he'd been still living right now. Mm -hmm. You get what you say. The word don't return void. $56 billion. Guess yeah, what? He can't even spend it now. I guarantee you, somebody flat, broke, busted, and disgusted or take his position. No, no. I'll stay broke and leave while you take your money and die. <laughs> but see, the kingdom principles, see, it's not nothing. It's not no position. It's not nothing you can believe, be, be believing God for that you cannot not obtain through the word of God. Amen. Amen. And what I found out about God is my thing was when I was selling drugs, she was she was going, you know, going to church every Sunday. I'm selling drugs. Every Sunday she, I'm talking about like clockwork going. And she would, would you come go to church? But see, my thing at that time, I didn't understand that God would meet you where you at. So I'm just telling her now, you go on because I ain't gonna play with God. Right now, I ain't got no intentions of coming out of the street, so you go on and deal with God. But boy, how many of you know God will interrupt your schedule? Ah, <laughs> God will interrupt your schedule and make it plain to you. Oh, yeah. Really, to be honest, this will set itself in the right position. You hear it? In the right position, oh, folk know how to call on God. Oh, you know how they riding around on their 24s and 26s and smoke, men around letting some bullets get to fly. That oh, Jesus. Amen. But you had to come to a class like this, and you know what I'm saying? They won't come. You feel me? But the ones that really get out ahead of the game is the ones that take advantage of them when they don't have a situation. That's right. See, mm -hmm. right now you're investing in your spirit, man. That's right. There are two people in you there's a king, and then there's a fool. And whichever one you feed, that's the one that's going to react. That's right. See, you think it ain't a fool in each one of them in the right situation? <laughs> You'll be sitting around talking about, I'm going to do that, and I repent later. Right now, I'm trying to satisfy this flesh. But we want to speak to the spirit man in spirit you. Man. We want you to wake up that sleeping giant. We want you to walk, walk up out of this thing and, and really be who you really want to be. Mm -hmm. See, there's somebody that you want to be that other people don't even know that that's inside of you. Yeah. Why? Because to tell the truth, you don't see no kind of way to get there from here. But guess what? That's, how, that's when God worked the best. He always show you the end from the beginning. And hey, you sitting there like, okay, how am I going to get there, God? Seeking, seeking first the kingdom. Seeking my face. As you seek my face, I'll reveal my word to you. I'll be a light to your path. I'll light up your path. I'll allow you to walk right into this thing. But you cannot ignore the spiritual side of you. You can't ignore it. And that's what people are doing. People think that when you say you're spiritual or that you're a spiritual being, they automatically say you're a preacher. Oh, so you're a preacher. Oh, man, we're spirit beings. We're not earthly beings. We're spirit beings. Right. If you take your spirit away from you, you dead. Right. You and MJF with no spirit. Do you understand it? So the spirit that's in you, you might as well nourish it right. and, and get acquainted with it and then take the link. I also want to just add that you have more to do with it than anything. Why? Well, because the enemy will attack your dignity. Mm -hmm. You feel you really feel like it ain't no way but to work. Man, look, it's motor life than work. Work? You gonna work all your life? Come on now. And there's a kingdom life that's set aside for us. Mm -hmm. If you take this thing, you take that time that you go on them eight hours, you punch in the clock. Suppose you read the Bible eight hours a day. Come on now. Oh my God. Where would you really be? Mm -hmm. In the Lord. That's right. But see, God don't make sense, He makes faith. So to the world, that sounds retarded. Man, you know you're supposed to go get you a job. That's what the world say. You understand what I'm saying? But we on another system. We ain't on the worldly system. We on the kingdom system. In the kingdom, we own We own everything. Why? God said the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. So that means that if somebody else got something you need, when you find the right word and release it in faith, they got to release it. The kingdom is all about supernatural activity. People don't believe that. When you say supernatural, it sounds spooky or... No. Supernatural means you get help from heaven. Heaven touch somebody on earth and make them release something to you. When you that's why Jesus is a lawyer in the courtroom. 
Why? Because if you go in faith and say, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Father God, I declare favor with the judge right now. Just when you say that, the judge will be clowning on everybody else and then when we get to you, be like, okay, well, case this me.